yellow. This is emerald. The Chihila. And as Archangel Raphael, I am here to carry out God's will, authority, and purity. So today was good is this video specifically entitles manifestation what manifestation is how you manifest all forms of knowledge and many different wisdoms from accumulated travels and in total total atmospheric boundless travels that you go on everything that you do is already dictated through God now the art of being able to have extra senses different perceptions and be able to fly be able to dive go deep down swim even sometimes let yourself drown as a soul you're occupying different spaces in elemental fields allowing you to course through reality through many different perceptions and many different levels now as a soul you doing this should always be done with faith and guidance in mind through god now when it's when it's not done properly you'll come to certain realizations of what you are trying to manifest is being blocked and isn't being supported, protected, and pushed towards at the right timing by simple God force. So, as Jesus Christ coming out in and out the body, I'm here to state my claim and let thine aim fall before me because of the distant distant that one walks <laughs> that is the distance one is able to talk so always important to align speaking things into reality with walking your cross and when manifesting is important to pay attention to each corner to each side as one duality stretches another also so it's important to not get lost on either polarity and to always come home not just grounding yourself, but taking yourself the whole way, all the way through. And then you will start to develop the wisdoms and knowledges on your travel that shows you what you're here to do, how you're supposed to do it. And it's done through your feelings. So, a lot of people have an enjoyment factor in run escaping and running away from their feelings because they think their feelings prevent and block them from achieving success in their own right. As the right boss, you're catching the right flight, the right time, the right price. Because an eye for an eye is only shared accumulated travels beneath two entities and two bodies. 
if there is no separation, then even exchanges can always occur spiritually. So you build a form of esoteric currency that you can cash in and out of any situation, of any astral travel that is leading you to new perceptions and new comprehensions. So the time it takes for these things to be employed is out of time. So key rule to manifestation, especially key souls and spirits who have been at this at this work for a long time will we'll come to realize that it isn't about timing yourself, but following the following the timing of the infinite processes that one walks through. So that's just intuition. That's just being in tune. And there's lots of ways. There's lots of ways you can take and attribute all of your travels to the present moment in the right now and that's where that's where you'll know what to do that's where you'll know what what course of action to follow through with to keep continue leading you continue doing your work because each individual soul is here to complete their each individual god mission you know assuring one is in, in an angelic frame of being so me and my angelic force y'all watching and those who are behind me know well to follow within protocol and guidelines because turning to the ways of the world allow us to show everyone and on display what is actually occurring behind the scenes so full exposure nothing being unshared and unprotected and un And nothing being biased. So. It's. It's a key matter. Of taking no matter. Into your handlings. Through your manifestation. Because when you bring too much matter. Into. Into formation. And into essentiality. It can become dense for you to actually receive and to output the right thoughts and vibrational frequencies to match God. When you're in demonic fuels of reality, you'll come to realize you're comp comp competing with God. So your brain, mind, computing will pick up all subtle nuances that may or may not even be relevant to the purpose you've been given. And you've been self-chosen to acquiesce. Because you're only submitting to God's will, which is coming through you as a vessel. So being self-taught, self-educated through God is open to the universe, is open to all forms and shapes and parameters to reach you at any angle, in any way, in any segment that you may be traveling through of your life. So when manifesting, is, is very important and another key to take life as a consideration factor. Life should be something you're walking on like water. The moment you take your surrender and give it to outside forces, outside of God, is when you start walking through life. Always as a servant, but never as the medium, never as the channel. So it's important to realize the self-deception and dualities that comes within your own grasp and fields of awarenesses. You're always swimming through them. So 
the better work you put in, overarching overall illusions and separations, is when you'll arrive to certain truths that are so subtle, that are so present, that's taking place all the time. You couldn't miss it. You couldn't miss it. You're never missing. You're on target. You're on aim. You're on focus. Because God has certain repetition in you. It's been instilled throughout your travels. Now, anyone can watch this. Because this is open to the public. So a lot of demons will come on my channel. Take this. And immediately, subconsciously, start formating ways to triumph over natural law that is instilled through God. Because they want to compete. They want to come out on top. But if you're already on top, you already know it's a fall drop. So there's nowhere to go but be whole. Because once you're whole, ain't nowhere to go. You just go. You just go. You go off faith. You go off intuition. You go off healing. And you go off these subtle principles, these subtle foundational elements and factors that take key role in your essentiality of livelihood. Because when you're dying, the process of letting oneself die, you could be killing certain parts of yourself. You could be killing the demons, AKA the, the spirits that have latched onto you through the ages through the lifetimes that you've been carrying out your process of recovery and godly fulfillment. So as you develop more and more as a spirit, you're going to notice and you, and you will in fact come across that your own demons is the power to learn through them, to heal through them, to allow them to serve God. Because if your demons can be totally directed towards God, they're no longer demons. They're just animalistic expressions of childlike enthusiasm, expressing themselves from attached spirits onto thine soul. So when you can look at the spirit that you've been taking authority to advise because you're here to advise yourself you're here to be the guide for yourself and you be you're here to be the guiding light in all factors and shapes and forms so god can come as that and then you can move through darkness you can move through not being able to see then you can see and once you open your eyes and you see what's right in front is no illusion is no separation is nothing of anything but duality taking place in your wholeness. And the way you know that you're in tune and you're doing what you're supposed to do is because you're 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 altered. You're you're tapping into so many fields of realities. You're creating your you're actually being able to motherfucking share and share at a space where Things can just blossom. Things can just take off. Things can just fall in line. Things can just be so perfect. So as the perfect being, through all the imperfections, I'm here to share that it's important to care. It's important to give a fuck. Because when you give a fuck, you have these you have the right you have the right self-formulating agenda that's God given. And then you could be offered purification. Sometimes you don't need to know. Sometimes you already know. Sometimes going through the other side means having something to to be a part of in your highest fields, something to totally give, something to give your all, your 
your hall. You got your hall and it's filled with all sorts of paintings, amulets, pictures, and materials that you constructed from the ethers. And you created this within your own soul. So that is your space. You're always being judged and watched from multiple different angles and spaces. So it's always from multiple different awarenesses. So it's always important to know who you are here to be, who you are, why, why you're going through what you're going through. So you can immediately start bringing awareness to it. You can immediately start being where you are and instilling a factor of total essentiality. You're the whole essence now, baby. You're working through properly. God can come through you right way. God can, God can, God can really be you. So then, then you're carrying a faith. You're, you're carrying, you're choosing many different faiths, but you're carrying one. So yeah, this is some of the, this is how you come to manifest. You do everything correctly. You do everything right. Even when you're wrong, because your aim, your focus is right. Your awareness is right. Your work that you're doing and your soul is right. And how you pick up your vessel and begin to take action, begin to move certain ways, begin to stay seated as long as it takes for you to bring into fruition, through intuition, a lot of these abilities that, sh that you're going to be receiving. Because you're fully cap able to be the star hero. You're fully here in the now to do what God has intended and God is willing. So if you're God willing, in fact, God fearing, to the extent God can reach you and work with you, work through you, help you, cure you, heal you, then you'll come to You'll come to find divine counterparts start to reach at you. You'll come to find success begins to take off faster than could have been imagined. Could even be overnight. You'll come to understand and understand the key essential dualities that are occupying reality and how these dualities ultimately stretch vastly and infinitely. So from there and there, you can develop the wisdoms and the knowledges God given for your role to play. He was always here to play. Only part that got misconstrued was when the loss of innocence came in and play became something more of a painful self-expression. Play became something that's been judged. Play became something that's now feared, something now that's now looked down upon by certain eyes. So then you turn to wicked forms of behavior to find an outlet and expression of your natural will, God will, to play. But once you know that you've been lost, you could be found. So it's all about you carrying through. It's all about focusing on the right, what is right. You stand on that as a foundation. You build on that. You construct on that. You work on that. You heal on that. You transmute through that. You, you pay full. You pay fully to all of your tensions within. Because you build these tensions through trying, through trying, through trying for resolve but being guided on course to an to to to, to God's form formless formation
So carrying out everything that I've come to mention this far and going to mention, it's important to know what you're here to do and why you're here to do it. It's important to spend time in prayer, spend time in meditation, spend time healing. It's, it's important to spend time thinking and feeling. But not just about the whims of what's being thrown at you because what's being thrown towards you isn't always what is God-given. Sometimes God is putting you through certain reference points so you can be able to directly look on yourself. And when you do that, then God can come through you. But God wanted you to go to yourself so God can come through you. God didn't need you to extend your livelihood onto external factors. But you may have done that and gotten lost so you could be found. So it's all about how you're going about these things and what you're, what you're pertaining to at the end of the day. So without being careless with what I say and how I say it. I'm here to help offer a form of guiding healing presence in a form of justice. To all who misuse God's voices, because they're never aimless. And all beasts are never tameless, unless they're faithless. So, as you begin to work through your process and ask for the wants and needs to God that you require, God will begin to bring this into your life, but it won't be, won't be it won't be immediate. It'll be right there in front of you, showing you how to walk, showing you how to uplift, heal, cure. And as Dr. Change, God's doctor, the doctor of change, which is the only universal constant, as the eighth house of carrying the water infinite sword, shapeless and formless through all elements and creations, different emeralds and gems and pearls, Emerald the Chi Healer is now with you. So, without further ado, I'm signing out. This was a little short video about manifestation and the keys involved in it. I left the droplets of gems and gold and nuggets there. So, be well be in health and be happy I love you I hope you love yourself I hope you're doing the work God intended for you to be doing each and every breath and each and every second each and every moment and you're carrying out your fate through faith and you're making it happen you're making it rake so rake it all in bring it all in the abundance the growth, the healing, the prosperity, all of it. And let it formlessly come in. Let it be the ultimate wisdom and guide that you are here to be the vessel for. This was Archangel Raphael. And I'm here for the healing, biatch. Peace. Love and happiness.